Even though this kitty seems relaxed and resting in a moment, you're going to see it do something uh, that I just wanted everybody to be able to see and know what happens in their own cats. When a cat is on its side or vocalizing like this and twitching, uh, this is a seizure. It can be caused by various things, um, such as hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. It can be caused by a protozoa called toxoplasmosis. It can be caused by viruses, such as the uh, feline infectious peritonitis virus. Um, and so we test for all these things in the blood it's often hard to get a definitive answer for seizures in a cat. And you can see episodes can last for just a few seconds to a couple of minutes and then the kitty seems normal. You wouldn't see this if it was an extreme viral problem or even something like rabies. Um, a cat will vocalize and after they have the seizure, they will actually continue to be kind of out of it. Um, even though that little kitty looked like it was okay, now it's a little disoriented in order to figure out what is going on with the little kitten. And you'll notice this isn't the little kitten, but I wanted to show you how we draw blood from the juggler vein in cats. We draw blood and then we send it to the lab to rule out all kinds of things that could have caused the seizures. After getting the blood, the lab sends us a report pack, so you can see toxoplasma is negative. That's the protozoa that gets in the blood and the brain. You can see that the feline leukemia and the feline AIDS are negative, and coronavirus shows exposure to a virus that can turn into FIP virus, which is this really bad virus that cats can get that can get in their abdomen and their kidneys and even their brain. Uh, so we'll have to consider that as we go along um, you can see that the rest of the blood the thyroid is is in the normal range the kidney values and liver values are all in the normal range so those organs are working pretty normally um, and then as we go up higher the blood sugar is good so it's not hypoglycemia uh, the red blood cells are okay as and the white blood cells are okay which shows it's not anemia and um, and an infection. So you can see that epilepsy, we can't diagnose epilepsy on blood work, we just diagnose things that could be wrong with the organs or lead us to believe that it's a, some kind of virus or bacteria. So we most of the time will treat uh, with phenobarbital and possibly antibiotics when we're considering what kind of um, cause it might be. Cats, kittens, and dogs can get idiopathic epilepsy, which means that we don't really know what, know what causes it. So in this little kitty, we just started using phenobarb, um, one half a pill of a 16 milligram twice a day. Now it did have an increased fever and more of these seizures but we've uh, we don't know if the increased fever is from having the seizures which will warm up the body or if it's due to one like an FIP virus that it had exposure to so we're going to continue with the uh, phenobarbital and also use a drug called doxycycline in order to treat the seizures so if you get a chance go to my website and check out my new book dog died answer book Hope you enjoyed this little short video.